it's not trial and error it's a realm if you are not there you are not there there's no guessing up you can wear suit and fake it if you are not there you are not there you function only from the strength of that realm and i will give you the mysteries it is on the strength of this mystery that you can tell one go and he will go and tell another come and he will come brothers and sisters that is dominion there is something you can know that can make you face any witch in your family and say forget it you threatened people yesterday but right now i speak to you there is something you can know that activates the anointing in your life and you become a living wonder heaven has been seen part of the mysteries of the kingdom is that the moment you strike that chord heaven answers this is what you are seeing there is there is no magic about it and it's not something that happens today and then tomorrow it cannot happen it's not an effect it's a realm of existence you can come there this is what by the grace of God we seek to bring everyone because it's not a thing about a man of God are you hearing what I'm saying the realm where his voice is no longer strange and then the accuracy of your life begins to astonish men circumspectly the realm where you walk through limitations as if they do not exist because you are operating from the vistas of another kingdom you see another reality greater so when men say limitation you say where is it i cannot see because as far as i see i see that my 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 eyes have become attuned to the word of god and it's on the strength of that revelation you can speak when men say there is a casting down you tell them it's only my body that is here but I'm operating from a realm and according to the mysteries of the kingdom when I speak from that realm I enforce the realities of that realm to be present here and now there is a mystery of the anointing very few people understand the anointing let me tell the truth many people have impartations they can lay hands people can fall in the meeting but see, you can interact with the anointing. He said an anointing can teach you. Spiritual things have personalities, including the anointing. You can come into oneness with the anointing and you understand its operation. This is not about apostle. This is not about prophet. This is about ascending to the hill of the Lord. And you will stand in his holy place. There's an army rising up because some of you will be the, not everybody but there's an army they are rising up forget about the limitations of today there's an army rising up and they will break every chain break every chain hallelujah can i have seven people please just any seven people just just come and stand here i want to show you something just just stand here see okay, want to just squeeze yourself so you can stand one two three four five six the bible says listen from the book of revelation it gives us an idea is that the best is that all the volume don't be afraid go ahead and just it tells us that there are seals and there are scrolls in heaven are you following me now in ancient times the mysteries of a kingdom were written by people who were gifted in literature and it was folded in scrolls 
and it was tied with seven seals seven being the number of perfection are you getting me and there were certain people who qualified and every time there was need to open it they will unlock the seals unlock the seals the seven seals the moment they open the seven seal the scroll is open and they begin to read not everyone is permitted to see what is written there are you getting my point do, do you understand what i'm saying <sighs> no matter how much you press into god listen to me there are certain things you will never find on your own are you hearing what i'm saying no matter how you press into the things of god there are some dimensions that are not given to just find like that let me show you something second corinthians 4 can we project that if we can have it um preferably okay first corinthians i'm sorry four verse one in amplified if we can have it in amplified everybody read it amplified if we can get it dominion 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 standing on the mysteries of the kingdom are we ready please let's read one to read can we have it amplified no amplified all right read one to read stop and what of what what did he call them who is a steward answer me who is a steward a steward is what you trust a man with something a job to do or to hold something for you is that true the bible says that there are certain people it's not because of their fasting or prayer it's an election of grace by the predeterminate counsel of god they have been made stewards of the mysteries of god please listen to me and kick away this junk in the body of christ many people dishonor everybody you see because you just look and say forget it is is it are they worshiping a man there is a difference between human worship and honor are you hearing my point there are men here and now in this earth realm who are custodians of the mysteries of god are you getting my point when you recognize them and open up yourself to the influence of the revelations that has been given to them you will step the goal is not for the men to stand and brag the, the whole body is supposed to come into that revelation but that the dispensing of it cannot be by everybody are you getting what i'm saying so because of this god grants them unusual encounters unusual light unusual illumination and every time the devil wants to destroy your destiny the first thing he does is he discredits the anointing that is supposed to take you to the next level are you getting what i'm saying that's why we have all kinds of people talking against pastors talking against men of god talking against every you know all kinds of things there are people who are experts they come and analyze men of god sit in their homes and just castigate every and everybody including pastors we sit down and we're just talking can i tell you something there are stewards of the mysteries of god never forget this and let me tell you you will never receive from a man until there is genuine honor to god to his office and to the anointing are you getting what i'm saying this is a powerful revelation it says let a man so account of us this is paul speaking let's look at ephesians 3 please quickly ephesians 3 and so the job of this 
apostles and these prophets and these people their assignment is to unlock these seals open them up what is the law that governs the miraculous why is it still a mystery in the body of christ it should be a mystery to unbelievers not christians but why is it still a mystery because there are custodians who carry these mysteries but have not been appreciated why is wealth still a mystery in the body of christ because there are custodians of that mystery are you hearing what i'm saying he says in in, in isaiah 51 don't turn there he says look unto abraham did he say look unto the patriarchs he mentioned a particular person who was a custodian of the blessing see if you do not understand how the structure works of the kingdom works you will be cheated hallelujah your dominion and my dominion is at the mercy of the mysteries of the kingdom that we truly can comprehend and those mysteries are not just hidden in the holy ghost alone they have been delivered here and now every see anointing does not leave the earth to heaven are you getting my point no go and read your bible anointing does not leave earth to heaven that means every manifestation of the spirit that we have seen from bible days till today the grace and access to that mystery is available in the earth realm here and now hidden in vessels of clay and when those people are recognized and their ministries appreciated you will enter dramatic levels hallelujah Ephesians verse 2 Paul says if ye have heard of the dispensation of what the grace of God which is given to me Paul said a grace was given what was the grace verse 3 how that by how that by by revelation he made known unto us unto who unto me the mystery paul was not the greatest of the apostles but he said for whatever reason i cannot explain but he called me and committed unto me a mystery and so you will hear paul again and again speak and say behold i show you a mystery Brothers and sisters, listen. Please do not let any man cheat you and rob you of your glorious destiny. The answer to your greatest prayer request is hidden in vessels of clay and is hidden in the mysteries of the kingdom. If you can have the eyes to see it, something happened. I'm sure some of the protocol people will be there. There's, there's a lady here who brought some people those of you who know plateau state from gindiri one of the local governments oh just somewhere around the local government there yeah. some people came they wanted to make it for the miracle service but they could not make it for the miracle service they came the whole family and they came in for counseling they came with their father completely paralyzed hallelujah completely paralyzed the first thing that moved me was the fate of these people this man had been a teacher for more than 35 years so he's not an idiot two of the children are doctors they are not fools and they left all the way they listened to just one koinonia message or a number of koinonia messages really and the man said they should take him and bring him to zaria can you imagine that a whole family entered their car and they drove when i saw them i opened my heart and I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And then back to 1 Corinthians 4, please. The Lord began to let me know that, look, son, I don't do these things because you are indispensable. I don't do these things because you are one superman. By grace, I have committed to you certain dimensions of the mysteries of the kingdom. There are many people, listen, I'll never forget one gentleman who came and met me one day. He said man of god i've been watching you from a distance and i really appreciate you i have seen the grace of god in your life and 
and, and all of that and uh, I, I just maybe once in a while uh, I'll just come and uh, we'll just maybe rub minds together I told him get out of this place you are a very irresponsible young man you don't know how to receive you are a foolish boy and, and trust me I don't mean pride are you getting my point I don't mean pride when you understand that there are stewards even if see that steward can be your child your blood child are you getting my point you keep looking at him as a baby and die of what there is a grace upon his life to solve when that man got down the protocol people can testify and started walking he went and ate the miracle that happened right now they are preparing to come for the miracle service with so many other people and i'm just wondering and i say this from the depths of my heart i say oh lord how many people among this crowd are here crying of problems there are certain graces i don't have i'm not ashamed of it i will never try to venture into certain areas i can recommend stewards that have been trusted and proven and you know here I, we talk about men of god generously i'm not one of those people that sit down and brag and believe i'm alpha and omega there are men of god who have seen things we recommend books we recommend people are you getting my point now you must create an attitude that hunger for the mysteries of the kingdom and when you find vessels that are custodians of this mystery you must learn the art of reception there are people today who castigate archbishop benson idahosa is that true he's there though but there are people who still talk about him say he brought human worship to nigeria he brought all kinds of things they they forget the influence that man went round the world 52 times 52 times from nation to nation he demonstrated a level of dominion prophet bob jones before he went to be with the lord said one time during his encounter an angel appeared to him and the angel told him that the name of the angel is breakthrough and he said i am the one who worked with archbishop benson idahosa that's what the angel was telling him bob jones does not know idahosa yet a man walked with such a grace and was despised by people around are you hearing what i'm saying there are some of you right now certain mysteries have been given to you but you go home and everybody just looks at you business as usual is that true they know that the healing anointing is at work in your life it may not be there in full measure but they know every time you tell them dreams and you say i saw myself laying hands like joseph they laugh at you there are some of you entrepreneurial graces and people look at you say as broke as you are this 200 naira trouser you see let me tell you and i've taught it here i have a responsibility over us in christ to teach us never cultivate the attitude of dishonoring and disregarding a man of god if he's not perfect leave the imperfect part of him and get what you can get and move on are you hearing what i'm saying once you cultivate that attitude of eyeing this this is not my pastor this is not my papa this is not my prophet you see the man of god will keep you only at the limit of the mystery that has been committed to him but it takes more for you to walk in total dominion are you hearing what i'm saying i just feel like taking away all of these things that some of us have put in our mind if it's not my pastor's book i'm not reading it if it's not my pastor's prayer request i'm not saying it i i have opened my heart lavishly and generously to the ministry of the body of christ especially in nigeria let me tell you in this country we are gifted with mysteries are you getting what i'm saying there are men and women of god working in this nation nigeria some of them are not on tv some of them are on tv some of them are just little gatherings like this our own here different custodians of mysteries when you find the flow of what god is doing plunge into it with all your heart and you will find out that you will come out at the other end a living wonder something will happen there are people here right now who come in from kaduna every week there are people who come in every time i remember i was talking somewhere and i told the people i said 
I may not claim to know all the mysteries of revelation. There are few revelations here and there that God has committed to me. Hallelujah. There are certain things. Higher. But there are some things God gave. I know it. Are you getting what I'm saying? When Jesus appeared to me, I know that specific things were given. I limit myself to the ministry of that grace that was given. While appreciating and embracing that which comes from the body of Christ. If you are looking for excellence, we are doing our best, but we may not be the absolute model of excellence. When you are looking for maybe the teaching anointing, we may not be the absolute model of it. But let me tell you something. I understand how to enter the presence of God. Oh yes, I know that. I can tell you this. I can tell you this. This is why the meeting was called Koinonia. I didn't choose the name. It came from heaven. It's a revelation. There are some things that are given to people as an office. When you recognize it. Hallelujah. One of the few men that introduced the revelation of the presence of God in Nigeria is Pastor Chris. Many people just knew the power of God. They didn't know the presence of God. Hallelujah. There are certain people who have introduced wealth to the body of Christ. There are certain people who have introduced wisdom. There are certain people who have introduced leadership. We keep castigating them and dying of what their graces can build us. See, let me tell you, I'm teaching you, this is the word from the Lord. I didn't plan to talk about this thing, but God is speaking to you. Zip your mouth as far as talking about men of God is concerned. Hallelujah. I used to talk a lot about men of God years ago until one elderly woman called me and she sat me down. She said, my son, you are going very far. What you see today, you may see better tomorrow. So it's better to keep your mouth. From that day, I repented and I vowed. If you hear me talk about a man of God and call his name, I'm saying something good. Many of us arrogantly move around talking about people, talking about all kinds of things. Whereas they have the anointings and the grace that will help us and set us free. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me give you one example. They are looking for Chibo girls. Is that true? For how long have they been looking for them? Are they not true prophets in this country? Who day and night are revealing the accurate counsel of God? Let me give you an instance. Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Are you following me? What is wrong with embracing the ministry to say, Servant of God, we believe. We know what God has given to you. The kings in ancient times were not arrogant people. When there was trouble, they found the vessels. Hallelujah. Joshua Suleiman was saying something. He said one time, I listened to one of his teachings. And he said, he was watching, I think he was watching Pastor Chris or so. It was at a time when there were all kinds of persecutions and all of that for various reasons. And he said, he looked at him. He said, but no, come on, the presence of God, this is a man of God. This is a man of God and I honor this man of God. He said he was in Abba and he was going for a program that night. He said that night he saw physical cancers falling on the ground. He said when he went back to his hotel room, he said, oh Lord, what is this? Hallelujah. There are custodians of the anointings. There are men like Benihin who carry the visible manifestation. This is what took me to South Africa. I didn't go for tourism. I went desperate for an anointing. I saw that man, Kobus van Rensburg, single-handedly, he had raised more than 12,000 wheelchairs and crutches. I said, this cannot be pretense. They, they are in the church there. And I went, I said, I'm going. I will pay whatever price. When I got to South Africa, I was fasting. People were just smiling. There were a few Nigerians there opening their teeth and behaving like fools. I went and locked myself. I said, Lord, I came for business. I respect this custodian hallelujah see i was so hungry i stayed in the uh, in the guest house of the chief usher of the church and when it was time i i sat there i think it was row two i sat down there passionately and hungry before kobu started anything even before the pastor's conference started he called me out by prophecy and he looked at me and he said i see you being like paul you will be a, a custodian of deep revelations of the kingdom. All through the pastor's conference, he laid hands on me again. And he taught a teaching. Oh God. 
Kobus taught something about the fathers of old. Let me tell you how mad that man was. He went round a tour, him and his friend, right? They went to, maybe they would say, this is the pulpit that maybe Alexander the way used. And he will carry a handkerchief and clean it. Lord, there is an anointing on it. And he took it and threw it inside anointing oil. They went to the grave of William Branham. They said when they got to the grave, two of them fell on the floor. Under the anointing. Men, the people who buried him did not fall. But many years, a man came with a hunger and an anointing from the bones of that general. The man who saw squirrels rise up, form, and enter the wilderness like Elisha. They fell and he said, what will I do now? He caught the grass close to the side of the grave and he dumped it inside the anointing oil. It's not witchcraft, it's hunger. Separate witchcraft from hunger. Separate human worship. Did all kinds of concoction on the anointing oil. My eyes was on that anointing oil all through the pastor's conference. They said it's time for lunch. I said, lunch? Am I a fool? I leave Nigeria and come here to eat lunch. I sat down. I was, I was, I was hungry. And then they put the pictures of all the generals on the altar for people to come and pray on. When I came, I didn't choose one. I just laid down on all of them. Not just one person. People were just picking one and looking at it and crying. There was no room for that. I laid down and I said, Lord, every impartation from this man, whatever made them living wonders, I rolled on the pictures. I did everything. Hallelujah. And when I did that, Kobus gave me a gift. Every time he's under an anointing, a very heavy anointing, he would lay his hands on a material and then they would print that material. And he gave me the gift of one of those materials. And one day he looked at me. He said, Was it Andrew Murray or who was that now? No. Lester Sumro laid hands on him. And Smith Wigglesworth laid hands on Lester Sumro. And he looked at me. He said, come. I want to connect you to the lineage of the generals. And he laid his hands on me. I carried that experience. I said, I'm done with South Africa. Thank you, Jesus. I'm on my way back. When I came, I prayed it out. And let me tell you, I knew. I knew. I saw two ladies who were sitting in front of us just joking and making noise. It wasn't up to 15 minutes. Two of them were under the anointing. I said, thank you, Jesus. We, we, we need to focus. Hallelujah. I'll never forget that time. Pastor Chris called those of us who were from the north. I was a member of Christ's embassy, but I joined. I said, let me see who will stop me. See, many of you are not hungry for the mysteries of the kingdom. I'm challenging you tonight. I'm not just entertaining you. And I stood there. People were looking at his suit. I was looking. See, Elijah said, if you can see me, you need a level of focus. Church is not where you just come and look at decoration. Look at it before and after the service. During the service, your spirit, just like some of you, as you're sitting here, there, there's something in your spirit. You're saying, oh Lord, I know that if I focus, I will get something. The word of the Lord says, and they that sat in darkness have seen a great light. The light of the Lord has come to you. Don't keep it to yourself. Do well to share to your loved ones just by clicking the share button below and tell us your what you feel like on the comments box below. And don't forget to subscribe. Strike the notification bell to stay in touch with God's word on every day basis. Thank you so much.